Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. They have nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, 67 yards. And the Ravens get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Back to throw here. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And this is why pass rush can't totally be measured in sacks, although, let's face it, if you're a lineman, you want sacks because that helps your contract time. But in this case, the pressure did the job almost as effectively, forcing an incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll look to throw here. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 29-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. But first down, Hurts. Open, man, he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith, 29 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from moving out in front. And when the quarterback drops and has a guy that wide open in the end zone, his eyes have to get just as big as grapefruits. Oh, without a doubt. And this is the easiest throw you're going to get, and you're going to get the benefit of a touchdown on top of it. Make that throw. Elliott good with a PAT. And they take the lead here at 7-6. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. A break there for this offense as they will get a chance to start at the 40-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. 
Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 43, here second down at seven. Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, Guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Jackson. Pass on the crossing route is complete. This is Andrews. Here's Jackson. This will be caught just inside the 10. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Edwards. And he's going to be shoved back short of the goal line. He tried to break that plane, but couldn't get there. And that's going to leave him now at third and goal. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? It's almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. They'll look to run with Edwards. And this time he is in. Yes. Gus Edwards taking it in from a yard out. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. He's got it at the two. And he will find the end zone here, and the lead moves up to seven. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it, because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score, but... Remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. 
and they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing his hurts. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. Second down, here's Hertz. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Swift running to the left. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Throw left side is intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through. The and now off to the races, down the right side. He's on his way. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Fans of old school football, they got to be loving this partner. All three drives so far have ended in a touchdown and all three on the ground. And when you say fans of old school football, count me in because you just don't see ground games dominate the scoring. Not pounding the rock like this anymore. To me, this is refreshing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's the tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well on that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. 
intercepted. Picked Ooh. up by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Second straight drive now here, Charles, and have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Now second and five. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A give up the middle to Dobbins. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 172 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. On first and 10, it's Dalvin's. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Here's Hurts to throw. His throw incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Two yards to go, second down.
Now back to throw. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw in this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. After the interception, here's Jackson. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. <laughs> running is swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Hurt sets up to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now third down and six to go. They'll set up to throw. Oh, come on. He's he throwing like this for. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the oh, he's throwing like that. Shape as they take over at their 46-yard line. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys, but let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened, so a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. From just shy of midfield, here's a second and eight. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. And the offense moving quickly to the line. 
From the gun on third down, Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jackson from the shotgun. A short throw caught by Andrews. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. From the gun, it's Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. It's third and one. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. Uh-uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. They'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. Play clock hit zero. Don't know what went wrong there, Charles, but it's going to cost them five yards. Has to be some organization from the sideline. Sometimes when you're trying to decide on what play to send in, the play caller has to move a little bit faster. Tucker's kick is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. Whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hurts. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And boy, another ill advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. And we're in Baltimore. Third quarter action, second and 10. He'll look to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, when the running game's not working sometimes, you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. Back to throw again. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. Go, go, go. 
And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's oh my goodness! Give me a break. And they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. Break. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Give me a fucking break. Here's a give to Dobbins, and he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On third down, here's Dobbins. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Give them the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up the yardage. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, a nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Trying a little razzle-dazzle on third and short. A loss of eight on the play, and it brings up fourth. An eight-yard loss brings up fourth down. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And that is no good. And the lead will stay put at 17. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self... And now here is another interception. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never. Not in a million years, but here we go. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Here now, second and four. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Well, clear running situation. Trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they'd shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit them over the top. Jackson going to find his running back here. It's Dobbins. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Jackson. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And third and one now. 
So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Dobbins running out of the gun. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Again, an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now it's Jackson. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. So the final second.